How uh, has Frank helped that offense? I mean, that defensive line. Once you you guys get him back, it seems like everything kind of starts to pick up in terms of run defense. Player. Yeah, so he's got he's got quick twitch. He's got ability to come off the ball and strike you. Um, I think he, along with that, he has turned into quite a technician. And again, I give uh, Coach Jenkins credit for that. And so you've taken his real raw physicality and quick twitch and combined that with um, technique. That's been a big difference for us. Going in, you're obviously missing Corey, Donnie, uh, and, and Arden. What have you seen in those young guys that are in, in Mike, I guess Tyler and, and Caleb on, and, and I guess Ray too, that they can they're going to be able to have to play with no drop off in this game. Sense of urgency is the biggest thing. That's what you're always looking for. I think when you're dealing with young with young players. Um, that are maybe in their high school or in, um, you know, peewee football or whatever you call it. Maybe things have come easy to them. Maybe there hasn't had to be that sense of urgency. But when you get them into a spot to where they're counted on and you got a, you got a whole state, you got a team, you got a community of looking for someone to build a to to do their 111th, to have that sense of urgency and that dedication, I think that says a lot. And I think people, when you see that, you're drawn to that individual and you feel you feel accountable to them. And so I think that's what's happening right now. Have you had a defense where you've had to play so many young guys? No. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, what's that been like, having to, to weave in so many guys who, who haven't, play major or I mean division one football before into these sorts of lineups yeah I feel like um, I remember talking with Pete I go you know I think we are like growing up in front of everybody you know just the maturity of running your ball the maturity uh, that it takes to uh, to finish a play to finish a game the maturity that it takes to prepare for whoever you're playing regardless of who the opponent is those are all things that I think um, takes takes maturity you know and I think we've we've learned that throughout the year I would like I think we all would like if we could uh, go back and, and um, have that at the beginning of the year but that was not the case and so to to, um, to learn from things and to improve on things throughout the year I, I give a lot of credit to the coaches, to Coach O for that. Uh, especially in the secondary of guys. Did, did you expect, I mean, obviously he was in the system for a year, but for Greedy to have a year like he had this year being out there for his, for his first time? Probably not the, the exact numbers that he had, but the success for sure. Because I, I think, you know, Greedy, whenever he has played, he has that instinct, he has that ability to make plays on the ball. Um, he is a ball hawk. So he's the definition of it. And so it was that way last year. It was that way during spring ball. It was that way during fall camp. And so for him to build it, to take it off, to take uh, take this season and run with it and be the leader that he's been, that's really cool. You know, uh, I give I give him a lot of credit for that because he, he found himself a role and he ran with it. And so he's one of the leaders of our team, and, and rightfully so. Devin's talked to us all year about how much.